Welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining what is a model and what is a modeling, what are the different types of models, right? If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of modeling. So now first of all, what is a model? So model, in simple words, it's a diagrammatic representation. And a model is nothing but an abstraction of something for the purpose of understanding it before building it. For example, abstraction means you are going to select the things that are necessary for to build the software. For example, when you are building the bank software, you are going to select only the uh, details that are related to the bank. If you are uh, developing a bank software, you are not going to select the student details. No, 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 no. Student details are not necessary if you are not uh, if you are developing a bank software. If you are developing a student related software, you need a student details. If you are developing a bank software, you don't need the student details. That is abstraction. Abstraction means it is a selective exhaustion of certain aspects of a problem. The goal of abstraction is to isolate those aspects that are important and you are going to suppress those aspects that are unimportant. If you are developing a bank software, bank related details are important for me. Student details are not important for me. I am concentrating only on the bank details and I am suppressing the details that are related to the student. That is abstraction. So model, in model also, I am going to develop a diagrammatic representation. In that model, I am going to add the details that are only necessary for me. And I am going to reject the details that are not necessary for me. Suppose, if it is a class model, uh, only class related details will be there. If it is a state model, only state related details will be there. I will explain this in, in this video, no worries. So, what you have to understand there? What you have to understand there means class model doesn't contain the state related details. State model doesn't uh, contain the class related details. That is abstraction. Only the details that is necessary for that particular model will be there. Other details that is not there, uh, sorry, that are not needed won't be there. That is abstraction. So why we have to develop the model? Why have we have to abstract? First, if I want to understand the details about the classes, I will develop the class model. If I want to develop the details about the state states, I have to develop the state model. So to understand it before building the software, to understand the details, I will develop the model that is the diagrammatic representation. Abstraction means class models contains only class details, other details won't be there. State model contains only state details, other details won't be there. Right? No worries. I will take up the examples. You will understand that in a more better way. So first, uh, I, will, uh, I will do one thing. First, I will explain these models. Then I will take up the advantages. Then we will understand in a more uh, better way. So class model. So this is the class model. You can see this is the diagrammatic representation of classes. Here this class model only contains the class related details, not any other details. That's why it's abstraction. Class model is concentrating only on the classes, not on the other details like states or interactions. What we are getting? Only the class related details are there. That's why model is the abstraction of some things that are needed by you. You can understand the classes here by seeing it. That's why. A model is the abstraction of something for the purpose of understanding it before building it. Now you get some, now you got some idea, right? Now, this class model, you are seeing the class model here. What it's going to tell? Class model represents the static and structural aspects of the system. In simple words, here your software will be 
represented in the form of classes classes are nothing but a set of objects classes contains a set of objects so your software will be represented in the form of classes so class model in turn uh, if it is exp uh, it explains the objects in a system yes because class is a set of objects and also the relationship between the objects their attributes their operations all those details will be represented in a class model i'll explain that no worries so goal of constructing the class model is to capture this uh, class related concepts object related concepts attributes such relationship between the objects these details right It will be represented in a class part for example uh, this is the class diagram for the online store online store you are developing a online store first uh, that's why you have to develop the class model here class model contains the different classes of your software so online store software contains this classes what are the classes user store class here the uml notation to represent the class is the box here the class is uh, represented in the, th the three compartments first compartment contains the class uh, name second compartment contains the uh, attributes third compartment contains the operations so in the first class the first compartment contains user store this is the name of the class attributes are not present in this that's why the second compartment is empty third compartment contains the operations so what are the operation you can do you can add the store you can add the user to the user store you can get the details of the user from the user store that's why adding and getting the details is the operations that's why it is in the third compartment this is the uml notation unified modeling notation to represent the class this is the same notation you have to use next what is the next class reserve to reserve the product user can reserve the product what are the attributes you can uh, product will have the id because you have to identify the product you have to reserve the product for that particular date that's why it has the attribute reserve date what you are getting new so when you reserve the product you have to add the product for the new new product for that particular user that is the operation now you are getting right guys so see product store is the another class get id you have to if you want to add the product you can add it if you want to get the details you can get the details of the uh, product now you got right so class model represent this class details you can see so this classes contains different objects if i see a, if i say a user store user store can contains different different users there different different users are objects product class can contain different different products so many hundreds of products there the number of products are nothing but objects of this product class so these details of the objects and the classes are represented by class models so class model represents only the static behavior static means it is only only giving the details about the classes it is not giving the uh, movement details the data de uh, movement details whatever the data movement details the data how it's moving from user store to reserve reserve to product those details are not given by the class model the class model only give the static details the movement related details are given by the use case interaction models i will explain now no worries so this is the class model next state model state model represents the behavioral aspects of the system that means when you do something uh, you can move from one state to another state i will explain with example no worries so state model describes those aspects uh, aspects of objects concerned with time when you do something you can move from one state to another when a event occurs you can move from one state to another those uh, behavior moving up from one state to another the, those behavioral details will be represented in a state model when the event happens when a change occurs 
you can move from one state to another state so state diagrams are used to explain the state models so right each state diagram show the states and different types of event sequences when an event is generated you can move from one state to another state i will move to the state diagram this is the simple state diagram see here uh, uh, this is the state diagram for the online store for example you have stock is there product is in stock so if it is in stock you are going to check it in check it in means you are uh, ordering the particular item that is in the stock when your order is confirmed you have to move to the checkout checkout means you have to pay the amount after checkout is uh, done after the payment is done what happen after the payment is done again you can go to the product page again if you want you can continue with the shopping or else if a payment is uh, not done properly you will move to the last state that means payment is not done getting guys last state payment is not done you will close you will go to the terminated state hope you are getting so here what you have to observe means i am moving from one state to another state when a event happens what is the event occurred here i first i in a in stock state so first i selected my item so what is the event i selected the item that's why it will it will move to the check in state when i select after selecting the item i have to make a payment that's why it will move to the check out state once the payment is done that is the event payment done is the event it will move to the stock state in stock state again i can continue your shopping if your payment is not done it will move to the last state hope you are getting what i am doing i am moving from one state to another state when a event is happened so state diagram it will show these details how you moved from one class or one state to sorry one state to another state these details this behavioral details how you moved from uh, one state to another state these behavioral details is shown in the state diagram you can observe here check model contains the behavioral aspect class model contains the static aspects that's why i told you state model contains only state related details class model contains only class related details all the other details are neglected here class details are not there in the state model state model details are not in the class model next what is the interaction model interaction model represents the collaboration of individual objects in the simple words how they are going to interact one one object is going to interact with the other object how they are going to interact those interactions between the objects is going to be shown by interaction model for example state model show the intra show the movement from one state to another state but interaction model shows the overall interaction over all the interactions with respect to particular software all the interactions will be shown in the interaction model state and interaction model different uh, describe different aspect don't get confused with the state and the interaction model state model shows the movement of from one state to another state when a event occurs interaction model is going to show the interaction between the users and the particular software user details won't be there in the state model if you want to know how a particular user is going to interact with the software you have to use the interaction model like use cases and sequence diagrams those interaction details how a user is going to interact with your software those details won't be there in the state model those details will be there in the interaction models interaction models show how a user how a external user is going to use the software 
I have to use the use cases and sequence diagrams for this. See, this is the simple use case diagram. This is going to show how the external user like customer is going to interact with your software. So this is the use case diagram uh, for a customer. Customer is going to uh, register, right? He is going to register to car share software. So how he is going to register? We will see this. This uh, diagram will show these interactions. How a customer will interact with the car share software. These interactions are not shown in the state diagram. Interact state diagram shows only the movement from one state to another state. This uh, interaction diagram shows how a external user like customer is going to interact with your software. See, we will see this now. Here, this uh, this particular uh, oval shapes are nothing but use cases. That's why this is a use case diagram. Customer, what we it, it will do? What he will do? Customer will communicate with the car share software to register. So while registering, he will send the mail, right? So along with that, so ID card, driver license, payment method, all these details will be collected from the customer. Uh, also, if very vouchers are there, vouchers details will be collected from the customer. Once all this done, communication, uh, you have to send the confirmation to the email system. Once the confirmation is done, again mail should be sent to the customer also. See, these interactions, how a customer is going to interact with your car share system, how he is going to record the ID card, how he is going to record the lessons, how he is going to do the payments. Those details, those interaction details are done, are shown in this use case diagram. See, what we are getting guys, right? So this interactions, how the customer is going to interact with your software, these interactions, see for example, after uh, submitting this, uh, we have to conduct the video call for confir confirmations, for verification, whether this all these uh, details, whatever the uh, details submitted by the particular customer is correct or not, right? To check that, we, have, uh, we can do the video call verification also. Hope you are getting this interaction so a customer uh, is interact with the software. Those interactions are given by use case and sequence diagrams that is interaction models. You can observe there whatever the details that are present in the class model are different. Whatever the details that are present in the state model are, are different from the class model. Whatever the details that are present in the interaction model are different from the state and class model. So each model is going to give different different details that's why model is abstraction one model is going to give the details that are necessary interaction model is going to give the interaction details not the class details or state details right that is the case here each model is going to give different different details hope you understood the concept suppose if you have any doubts still if you have any doubts you can post your doubt in the comment section guys thank you thank you for watching the video